This is our first experimental set of panels. We used one and a half inch pipe. Probably schedule 40. I didn't know the heavy wall or thick wall. And it was not rigid enough. And everything is built on super struts. So the super struts are 10 foot. The pipes are 8 feet apart. So it was flexing too much, so we thought, my wife came up with the idea of coming, putting concrete in them. And that didn't help. Helped a little bit. Put those cross members, they'll help stiffen it up. And then we put these braces. Actually, with all these braces, it's uh, pretty darn solid. But it's kind of Mickey Mouse. So the next one we set up, I had the one and a half inch pipe still there, but what I did is that I cut off some pieces of the two inch pipe and slipped it right over the uh, right over it and spot it, welded it, and filled these with concrete, thinking, well, with two pieces of pipe, it ought to be stiff enough. It isn't. We had these floor jacks you put underneath the house, underneath on front and back, and that helped, and it's pretty solid, but. I don't like the side wobble. These are 210 watt 28 volt panels. And what we're going to do is put these three in series. Those three in series, 84 volts. And that's going to go to a charge controller, which I have not hooked up. I mean, it's in the building right behind us here, but it is not hooked up yet because I have to do the grounding of these all these panels first. That's my next step after this. We just got these two panels hooked up today. Now there we went two inch inside diameter schedule 80 pipe, no cement, thinking schedule 80 that's got to work. Real heavy pipe, but I don't like that wobble. So I came up with the next idea, even with these floor jacks, but it will remain st stable, but I don't like all this wobble. In fact, we might have to put another one here and put two here on this particular panel. Then I went to three inch inside diameter conduit. Very heavy duty. 100 pounds per 10 foot piece. Nothing on the inside. And I only put one floor jack on the back very, very solid. I'm not going to put, I don't think I need to put one on front because these struts right here are holding the front part up. Now, as you can see, it's all built out of super struts. There's six pieces of super struts underneath these, and all these got to be wired together, and I got to put combiner boxes. But this is what I would recommend is the three inch inside diameter rigid conduit. They run about $108 a piece, but it's cemented in about three and a half feet. Now, these are two and a half inch heavy rigid conduit, very stiff, 10 feet long, and 12, 12 inch inside diameter hole there. And these are going to be for Harbor Freight panels, which are far lighter than these other panels here, which are 50 pounds each. So I've got about 350 pounds, maybe 400 pounds on each one of these. And the pipes will definitely hold it up, and the super struts are pretty solid. Quite happy with this part of it. If I do anything, I might put some concrete in these too. But the next step is to ground every one of the panels and then com put a combiner box and they dig a trench and go into the building. We'll talk about that later.